Hi everyone, thank you and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, please remember to like and subscribe. So in the video, I'm doing a market replay for April 19th, a 2024 trading session. This is Friday's trading session. And so as you can see here, I'm doing market replay. As you can see here, let me just pause it here because I do have it running. So what I did here just to make it realistic. So usually I start trading at 9.30 all the way up until 4.30. All depends on how much profit I make. Now, uh, ideally, uh, best case scenario, if I do make profit early in the morning, the morning hours, then let's say if I make a thousand, two thousand uh, for a couple of hours, then I would then stop trading and I have the rest of the day free. Uh, sometimes, um, some days I may have, um, some days I may not take a single trade. Uh, sometimes I may have to wait the whole entire day and wait maybe an afternoon session. That's when uh, my conditions are all met and then I take a trade. But I prefer, I prefer having, you know, a trending market early in the morning and then take my, um, take my profit early in the morning and then call it a day. So I am starting at 930 here. And uh, so I'm going to uh, show my profits here. And then um, the condition, I know a lot of, a lot of you have been asking me, well, what are my conditions? Well, I have been for the past couple of days, I have been modifying uh, some of my strategies and uh, indicators. So I created this indicator right here. This, this, this new indicator is I've uh, created. Before I get there, let me show you. So my main indicator is the Perry shade right here. So the Perry shade is as long as you have red candles and a red shade, that means it's going, it's on the downtrend. And also if you have green candles and green shade, it's in the uptrend. So those are, uh, that's the primary indicator. And the next thing I look at is the this indicator right here. And this is a new indicator I created. It works very well. And this is called the uh, Trend Ball Composite Index indicator right here. So all I'm looking at is I'm looking at the green line cross. So whenever the green line crosses, that it means that I should go into a trade. And of course, I have my ATM strategy is I usually have a 100 tick take profit. I know that's a lot for some of you that's that's watching. Uh, but I have but but for this video I'm using a 50 tick take profit two contract. Um, uh, uh, once I reach my take profit on the first contract, it will move to break even plus two, and the second contract will trail price until I get stopped out or until I feel that the trend is nearing and then I will uh, move from, from time to time, I'll move my trail stop close to the price if I feel like the trend is about to uh, end. So, and also too, you're probably familiar with this indicator right here. This is the momentum squeeze indicator. And also too, I have this uh, double stochastic and also I have these bands right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, play it. And I'm not going to play it at normal speed because if I do, this video would be very long. So I'm going to speed it up up to the point where I do see the green cross, and then um, I'll look at the shades. So let me speed it up a little. Let me slow it down because I do see the cross is about to happen. Okay, so I do have a cross right here. So this is in like, like, um, well, I have it on like really high speed. So if this was, if I was trading in a real, um, in a real life market, I would have uh, entered the market at the at the cross. So here you can see here a couple of candles have passed since the cross. So I would have entered much earlier than it is shown here. But at the same time, I'm going to look at the squeeze indicator here. It is showing uh, purple because um, when you have purple dots, that means you're in the squeeze right now. So really, um, I wouldn't go into the market um, at this point because of the squeeze. Uh, best case scenario, if you want to go into a squeeze, um, 
while the market is not in a squeeze, like in this case right here. So you see here it cross and then you have white dots, so that means you're out of a squeeze. So here in this case, I would not go into this uh, trade, even though all indicators, all conditions have been met. Uh, so let me just go ahead and just play it. So as you can see here, um, it crossed. And soon after it crossed, you can see here that the market went on a downtrend. So that's for that reason that these this uh, squeeze indicator helps you stay out of those kind of trades. And you're probably wondering, well, I have another green cross right here yes there is a cross but one is that you're still in the squeeze and also two you have a green shade so you can't trade if you have a green 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 shade and a um, and on the downtrend so we have another green cross right here but again uh, we have uh, red candles and green shade so all conditions have not been met. So you can see the time is 1036. Okay, so let me just pause here a little quickly for you. So I do show a red shade. It look like we're in a downtrend because I'm showing red candles here. We see a cross here. And all conditions are met except that we're still in the squeeze. So I'm gonna play it. All right, so here's a situation where I show my first no squeeze dot here. And this happened to be way after a couple of dots after this cross happened. So will I get into a trade at this point here? Then I'll wait for two more dots, two dots to show. So here we see two dots here, and it did happen after the cross. So is this a good indicate? Is this a good entry point right here? Then I would go in, sell short here, even after this engulfing bar. So that's another trend continuation indicator too. Also too, when you have this engulfing bar right here. So all condition looks okay. So I'm going to go ahead and play it. Order submitted. Order filled. Order submitted. Order submitted. Order submitted. Order filled. Order submitted. Order filled. Okay, just got my first take profit, and so my this move to break even plus two. So usually, what I like doing if it's pushing down, even though it does go down as price going down, I like moving my stop loss even further down. But it might I might get stopped out, but that's fine. So it's pushing down some more. So I'm just gonna leave my stop loss to show you. Uh, it does move uh, based on the ATR. And so you can see how it's moving. So I do from time to time move my stop loss just like I'm doing right now. Here. 
uh, let's push it down some more so you can see how it's stop loss move automatically based on ATR. So I'm just gonna move it down some more so I can squeeze out some more profit. So basically the custom indicator here that I have is the trend vol composite index. This basically tells you the strength of a trend. So if price is pushing, so if price is pushing one direction, that's where the momentum is going. And so that's why I have it at plus two because I know the momentum is going in that direction. So When do I know momentum? Uh, well, when do I know when the trend is about to end? I don't really know that, uh, except when this uh, momentum here, uh, squeeze indicator is showing me. So you see, I just got stopped out here, so it went up. So once I get stopped out, that means then the trend is going, um, the trend is reversing, basically. So that's usually what happens here. Uh, so you can see I uh, already, uh, made a total profit of 1,300 off that uh, off that uh, tra um, trade right here, and that was at 12, about like 12:40. Okay, so now I'm going to look for my next trading opportunity. Also, too, I do have uh, another stop loss here where. So I use this mainly also to, to kind of, if I'm going in a downtrend here, you know, where I just entered the market when it was out of a squeeze, as long as it's stochastic, I use it differently than most traders use it, you know, really stochastic. Um, people say, you know, overbought and oversold. So I use it differently. So if it's going in a downtrend and if it's an oversold area, as long as it's below this, um, Ten zone right here then that tells me then it's going in a downtrend and same thing if it's going up if it's going up then this stochastic line must be above the uh, the 90 range and the uh, overbought overbought zone and also too I use it there's a dual purpose for this also too so I do have a uh, strategy where uh, for, for any reason if uh, I'm in a trade and as soon as this uh, stochastic then crosses up on this line, then it will exit me out uh, immediately so I don't lose any more uh, profit. So this has dual purpose. Uh, so I do have that, um, that safety here. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue So right now it's 12, it's going on one o'clock in the afternoon session. So we have another green cross here. We have red, red, and stochastic is uh, in the oversold zone. So one condition have not been met yet and I'm still in a squeeze. All right, so I have two dots. So usually, I, yeah, I'll, I'll wait for one dot to confirm. They look like we're um, beyond, uh, well into the uh, oversold zone. So this would be a good indication to uh, a good entry point right here. So I'm going to go ahead and sell low. Play. Order submitted. Order fell. Order submitted. Order submitted. Order submitted. Order fell. Order submitted. So here is where.
Order filled. Order filled. Okay, so my order just got filled, um, but I feel like it's going to go even further down because the more you can see that these green lines converging, and we're out of squeeze, and I think it's heading down, so I think it's going to even go further. So definitely, I would go into the market after this cross. I think my stop loss was a bit too tight there, but that's all based on the uh, average shoe range. Okay, so we got across here, so definitely this would be a good spot to go into the market. Order submitted. Order filled. Order submitted. Order submitted. Order submitted. Order filled. Order submitted. Order filled. Okay, so I'm just going to let it push down by itself. That would be great if I get a engulfing bar. That means price is going to go even further, further down. see. Oh, it's just back and forth between buyers and sellers here. All right. So it did get a push down. So uh, now we have about an hour, an hour and a half left before the end of the trading session. Order bell. So I guess stopped out now. It's going to reverse now. So 2,400. Just got this cross right here, still in the squeeze. Not quite in the uh, overbought zone. So let me just let it play some more, see what happens. Actually, let me reduce the speed. Let's see if I can make some more profit with 45 minutes left. Nope. Okay, we just got a little bit more than 30 minutes remaining in the trading session. So I'm gonna go all the way till 4.30. So notice I wanna show you that, remember uh, earlier I had told you I have I do have a strategy that will exit the market once once I get into the trade. I think it was is it right here I got into a trade? Was it I think it was right here I got into a trade. And as soon as I got into a trade it kinda pulled back a little. I wasn't worried about that because um I had this red shade right here. So this is just a, a strong indication the market is going is going down. So um, you know sometimes you'll have these long retracements, but eventually the market is still in a rather uh, downtrend. So um, this, I mean, two can't um, these these short pullback is nothing to worry about. So as long as you have this red shade here this is just tell you that it's gonna go down, down so yeah you do have a little bit of drawdown but you're here um i'll be okay 
uh, with this uh, trend going down here. Okay, we've got 20 minutes left. So yeah, this strategy, the strategy works for me. Um, it does require patience, but when you do uh, get into a trade, it does pay off big. So, you know, in trading, you can never prevent losses. You can lessen your losses as long as you have more wins than losses, then you're okay. As long as you're in the 70, 80 range, then that's great. That's my goal. I do understand that, you know, you can never uh, prevent losses, you know, so um, I try to refine, uh, try to tweak my strategy as much as possible. Um, so that's something that I will always continue doing. That's just the nature of trading. You know, you're always trying to find the latest and greatest and always creating new strategies. So we're at the end of the trading session here. So, 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 at, so if I was trading live, um, I, I wouldn't make, I would have made 2,459 here. So of course I try to make this as realistic as possible starting at 930. Um, you can see here, let me show you, go to 930. Here is 9.30. So my first trading session started around, I think it was 11.55. I mean, I'd prefer having, you know, entries early in the morning. And then if I can make, if I can make a thousand, two thousand dollars early in the morning, then I'll just call it a day. That's it. And then wait for the next day. But like I said, this, this, this strategy requires patience. The indicators I have uh, works best for me. Um, it works for my trading style. It's patient. Uh, well, I have to be patient in order to trade this style. Uh, also, it's slow enough that it allows me to do my other work and I can look at the chart at the same time. Um, I have, um, I have uh, how you call it, signals. So when all strategies are all met or our conditions are all met, I do have an arrow uh, indicator that will point to that candle and also an audible signal that let me know to go into a trade. I didn't turn it on uh, because I just wanted to show you live uh, when all conditions are met, how I go into the trade. So uh, so I, I believe I took three trades, I believe. Um, so um, here, you know, I, I started at 930, but let's say if uh, I was a trade that started early in the morning. You can see here I could have taken advantage of these trades right here. So right here, here's where the cross happened. Here I could have made a good profit here. Let me show you how much that would have been. So based on my condition, here's the cross. All my conditions I met right here would have came in here. And let me do worst case scenario. Let's say I just close out the trade here. That would have been $2,000 right here. Uh, that would have been, I would have started, um, actually, not really. Yeah, so if I would have started, well, that would have been like like midnight, pr pretty much, if you're starting uh, at midnight. So really, I mean, I don't trade at midnight, so that wouldn't be realistic here. So, and also, let me see if I have another cross, green cross right here. So I have another green cross right here, right? So I've not gone into the trade right here because I'm still in the squeeze. I would have waited until I got my second squeeze here. But it came in here. All conditions are met. Let me show you how much that would have been. So that right here after the squeeze, second squeeze right here, would have came in here on the engulfing candle and came out here. Worst case scenario, I'm not going to end um end the trade here but i always use worst case scenario here so let's say i close out here when i get stopped out here so that would have been 310 dollars because remember this is only one 
one uh, one contract, so I trade two contracts. So that have been double. Okay, so I would have had uh, the fifty, the fifty take profit plus I would have been, uh, stopped out at the um, at the fifty plus the uh, twelve uh, the the uh, the twelve take right here. So so just keep that in mind and let's see what else. Uh, another trade here. Let's see. No trade here. Uh, trade here. No trade here. Even though I have the cross, but I'm still in the squeeze here. So this indication, um, this indicator does work well. It does keep me out of when the market is in the squeeze, um, out of out, out in consolidation when the market is con consolidation or in sideways market or ranging market. This definitely does help me stay out of those uh, trades. Again, I want to thank you for watching my video. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I hope to see you on my next one. Bye.